Now when we talk about pistons, there's a lot of um, misconceptions out there that a lot of people don't realize. And I didn't realize until I studied them. These pistons have, they have two rings, an upper and a lower ring for, two, for the two stroke. And from what I've read, if, and these are 54 millimeters, if you have piston rings with writing on them, the writing should go on top up here. Also, your piston will have a little arrow on it. Right here, there's one. Well, it's on there somewhere. I know where it is, somewhere. Anyway, what the main the major myth about the pistons is with piston rings, people think that due to the fact that the rings are spring tensioned here, that they hold the cylinder, they hold the compression from the explosion right here by pushing outwards from spring tension, which is completely wrong. Okay, What happens is this. If you'll notice, the, the spring, the, the uh, piston rings, and how they can move freely, they always have to move freely. You see that little spot right there? That's where the piston broke. That's what got sucked up into my... That's what caused all those little dots. Anyway, what happens is, you, we get to the top of the cylinder right here. Okay, and the piston fires off. Bang! What happens is the flame and the explosion travel down this edge right here, and they don't hit the top of the ring and stay there. What they do is they get under the ring. Okay, now stay with me here. The explosion goes under the ring into this groove and into this groove, the explosion itself, and that will push the ring out and hold it against the cylinder bore right here because there's tremendous amount of energy being released in that explosion that's why if you ever redo pistons you want to make sure that the best way to put take these on and, and take them off is with what's called a ring 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 expander and I don't have one but I, I need to get one but you want to make sure that all your piston rings are can move around freely there's always a pin, two pins in a piston. There's one right here. You can see it. Now that's for the end ring gap to hit right there. It, it's to cut, not let the piston ring move all the way around. There's one here on the top and there's one right there on the bottom. This also has a, an oil seal on the top and the bottom. It's a spring ring. Some have them, some don't. No big deal. Also, these pistons, you can't tell, but they're slightly egg-shaped. They're slightly egg-shaped like this, a little bit. Very, because, remember, you're with under heat, your cast iron cylinder is going to expand, and so is your aluminum forged pistons. They expand at a different rate. Now, with the uh, arrow right here, what it basically means is that the inside of the piston on the exhaust side, that's usually where it's hottest. So it's built a little bit stronger right through there, right through the, the top, right here. That's why, that's why it's like that. So you want to have your rings that are nice and clean and moving, and you want to have them in your little piston things. And the next thing we're going to get on is um, ring clearance, which is very important. Because remember, these pistons and these cylinders are not, they're not made all together. They, you can put in all kinds of pistons and cylinders and different clearances and things like that. Okay, now we'll get into ring clearance.